right, so this will be a review of the Kaza Smart Outdoor Plug. Uh, simply a plug that you can put outside your home, plug Christmas lights, whatever, into it, and allow you to control them either by the Kaza app, uh, Google, or Alexa to be able to cut them off and on. Uh, so it has plenty of applications for your home. But for me, its best application has been for remote controlling uh, places away from my house. I have a a place that uh, a lake about three hours from us, where I keep a bass boat and a golf cart, and I wanted the ability to be able to log in and just turn on my battery chargers for both of those. Uh, it's a place I try to get to as often as I can, but, you know, life happens and sometimes you can't get up there for months. And it's not good to let those batteries just sit for months without charging or, or using them. And um, I've had bad luck with these boat chargers, uh, boat battery chargers, that claim that you can leave them plugged in all the time and they'll go into a maintenance mode, which those do work as long as you're using your boat off and on but when you go months of leaving them in I've had bad luck and I've actually shown up and had a couple of trolling motor batteries ruined uh, so I had to buy two new batteries just to go fishing that weekend not the way I wanted to start my weekend so I got this so I can log in just once a month and tell them to come on for so many hours and shut them off just to help maintain them that way so let's kind of look down here I'll show you a few of the things so right here uh, under the long wi-fi range uh it mentions in here you need the uh 2.4 gigahertz for the wi-fi setup i think most routers if not all routers have a 2.4 and a 5 gig uh, so that's hasn't been a problem uh like at our house we use the 5 for streaming movies and so forth and i think most of your smart devices these days ask for the 2.4 gigahertz to set this up I think that's the only one it'll find when you're searching for nearby Wi-Fi when you're setting this up. It's the 2.4. Uh, a little further down, let's see. Easy setup. Um, so you download the Kaza app, and it'll walk you through the setup. Um, and since it's a dual plug, it does give you the option to name each plug separately so you know what you're cutting off and on. Uh, voice controls. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, it says it works with Alexa, Google Assistant, or Samsung Smart Things. I use Alexa. Let's go back to the top here. A little closer look at it. So, when I was looking for this one, because uh, I bought this over a year ago, and it works flawlessly. Uh, so, I decided to go ahead and do a review on it, and I started looking for it, and on Amazon... Let's see here. I didn't find that exact model. Uh, I found this one, and I think it's the replacement for that one, uh, which looks like the same one. They made a little more slimline and added the dust covers, which are nice. Um, so if I was looking to get another one right now, which I may be, I would go with this one. I think the, um, they read to do the same thing, and it's just a, a newer model of it. Uh, if you wanted the exact one I have, let's see here. Uh, I found it at Best Buy on their website. And it's the same one. So you can see right here, TP-Link. So TP-Link makes the Kaza products. <clears throat> so back over here, this is the one I would get. So I'm going to jump over to the app. Let's see here. Here we go. So here's the Kaza app. Uh, you can see here, I, I mentioned I had a boat and a golf cart. Uh, it's a Cobra boat, so I just labeled it Cobra and then golf cart. And you'll see a couple of uh, bedroom lights and fan. So I had such good luck at uh, this plug. When I decided to add some light switches at the house, I went with Kaza as well. And uh, they work great. Also, so pretty simple. Now that it's all set up, you can see here you can add a picture with your description. And if I want to turn on my boat chargers, I just... Hit the power button over there on the right. You can see the picture went from black and white to color. And then you cut it off. There, let's see. I wanted to jump in. So I'm going to click, not clicking on the button, but click on the picture to the left. 
come in here and you can see you have a schedule. I don't have anything scheduled, so there's nothing under that. Timer, I guess if you wanted maybe like your Christmas lights want to come on for so many minutes or hours, you can set a timer here so when you cut them on, they'll go off on their own. And then, so in the always mode, you could set up a schedule based on days of the weeks and times to run, uh, which could definitely be useful. Uh, I'm not using that. I only turn these on about once a month to top off my batteries. It would be great if they had a, a schedule like this that was based on the calendar date, like I could turn it on the first of every month. Uh, if anybody knows of a software that'll do that, I uh, appreciate if you leave it in the comments section. Let me back out of this. Let's see, runtime, I don't use that either. I guess it just calculates how much time you're running it. So what I did want to show you, uh, so let me back up. So all I've done here, let's click on the, the picture to the left of the description. Back into here in the top right, you'll see a settings button. I'm gonna click on that. Then you see on the left side where you have the golf cart and Cobra. To the right of that, you'll see an arrow. So we're gonna click on that arrow. And from here, you can uh, give it a name and add a picture if you want a picture attached to that plug. So I'm gonna click on the picture. In here, you can see at the bottom left, there's an albums and click on the albums. And here you at the top, I see photos and you have some folders. I'll just click on the photos at the top. And from here you can search, find whatever picture you want. It'll bring up anything with a boat in it. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this. Just hit the X at the top left, and then back, or the camera. You see the camera on the bottom right? You can just click on a camera and take a picture of whatever it is and save that right into the app. So I'm going to back out of here. I'm just going to hit the arrow at the top left. Back out again. And again. One more time. So there's the screen, it's it's really easy um, and, and works really well. So I also wanted to mention, the charger I have for my boat is a three bank charger. And of course I also have the charger for the golf cart. And while there I've had both plugged in, everything charged at the same time and went and checked on the plug and it's never gotten hot. Uh, so I think they built it pretty well. Um, also, if you look on top, you'll see uh, it looks like two little buttons. It's got the lights on it on the right and the left. Uh, of course, the light comes on to tell you it's on. Uh, but there are also buttons, so if you're in front of it, you can just click on the button to turn each plug on separately.